Okay, what's going on, guys? Uh, Red Monster here from TTG, and say we're gonna continue off the Flash game tutorial thing, Bob to do. Um, so I'm converting all the just like step tutorials to a video, so it's like way easier to follow. So let's get going. Okay, so if you're gonna follow along step one, uh, make sure you have everything installed. I'll leave all that stuff the same. You just make a game tutorial folder. So we're gonna set up the project. Just wanna create a new project here. Um you can also do this up here with the project, new project. Make sure it's an AS3 project, ActionScript 3. Um name it whatever you want. And wherever you want to put it. And click OK. Now let me just mm, delete do the one I had in here. Continue. The one I had before in the folder, which I can't delete it because it's open. Okay, whatever. Okay. So, um, first thing we need to do is we need to import um, Flixel to our workspace. Just so gonna do properties here. Just so right click on game tutorial. Get a class path. Add a class path. So I'm just gonna go to my Flixel location. You might have like a more updated Flixel. It might not look like this, like the folder name. That's just the one I have. Oh well, it still works the same for everything. So now we have Flixel in our workspace. We're just gonna go ahead and source and go to main. So now we can delete everything basically inside here. Well, not everything, but everything, all that, um, everything but the main function, and then the main function is gonna be void. So now we're gonna change sprite to flixel sprite. Well, wait, no, 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 no. Flixel game. And we're gonna import it. If it's atomically import, you can just go up here and do import flixel, and you can just scroll down to find game. Or for better yet, we can just do delete game out of there. I just put I put a star thing. Apostrophe, star, I don't know. Whatever, ampersand, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, sorry, I was reading a text message. Okay, so we're going to super down here. And then inside here, we do the game height and width and all that. So we make the game 640 by 480. And our next state we're going to go to automatically is going to be. 80. And our initial state is going to be play state. Maybe if you had like a main menu, put a the menu class right there. And we can just leave all that the same. So now what we need to do up here is I'm going to delete that. So we have some room. And we're going to do um, SWF. That's what the flash files. This is for the window, that's more for like the game size inside the window. And it the uh, width is gonna equal six forty. The height is going to equal four eighty. And our background color. Background color is going to equal zero X F F F F F F. And that is black, I think. Uh, so we're just going to end that off right there. And we don't need a colon or a semicolon at the end of this. So now we make a new class over here. We call it play state. Browse, and we're just do flexible state. So then states are just different areas. So you just want to switch to a main menu. You have a main. I got menu states, and then you switch to the game state, so you can play the game. And then you can switch to like a, I don't know, like a death state. I don't know. For if the player dies, was so like you die with the score of something like that. Yep. So now we have our main class. So this was where step two leaves off. So if you run that, um, errors. Uh, I 
Okay, that's backwards. I think it's supposed to be that there. This is a parenthesis. Do do do. So then we have that and that. That looks more correct. I can do that backwards. And uh, there we go. So now, whoops. Yeah. God. Drag. Whatever. This is it. This is our 640 by 480 window where our game will take place. So let's end step two, guys. Um, and be back for step three and four until the game's done.